Hey y'all, it's Roman with Stagel Farms. Well, something happened with our milk production and it was something we didn't even expect as usual. So now we had to make some changes in order to keep our milk production in order. We are, we need this milk so bad and we have a lot of babies that are you know they need it so we have to make sure the production is there and sometimes things happen yeah we need this milk we have a lot of babies that require this milk so we can't have any glitch in this production and we noticed something was going on yesterday and we just couldn't have it so we had to make the necessary changes and i'll explain it right now look who's in jail that's juniper she's like our big big producer and we noticed on the late feeding yesterday that we weren't getting much milk from her. And we just kind of, oh, okay. Maybe she's kind of in a little bit of a transition. Well, now we have this morning and my son was doing the milking and Guess who didn't have much milk again? Yep, she didn't have much milk again. So, turns out her, both her daughters are more than likely drinking her milk. And they're also in milk too. So this is an issue of why it's good to have bottle babies again so they don't rely on their mom and they don't get used to that. Now these two are bottle babies and she's not letting them get near her. So uh, we're just gonna put her with them and uh, We'll see what happens in the evening milking that we have to do and uh, see how her milk goes. I'll let you know about that. But I think I, I saw one of them really close to her, like they were going to do it. And, and, and then I kind of startled her and got her and got her attention. So... I really think that definitely one of them is, is doing that. I'm not sure, but regardless, it doesn't matter. We just need to get her away. We need her milk. It's very important because she has the most production out of all of them. We still ended up with at least a half a gallon this morning, which is still good. But if we can get more, we need more. I had to, I just got back from the store, the, the grocery store and had to get whole milk to supplement. We, we still need it regardless. It's, it's always good to have some milk on the side just in case and so I, I did get some more, and uh, we'll see how it goes from here. But this is not a good situation, and all the more reason why bottle babies are better. It's just a good thing altogether because they come, they become more close to you, and you can, in the future, they become more you know, okay with 
you know, coming up to you. Like, I'll explain something in a little bit. I'm going to go out to the, to the other goats. And there they are. There's Dallas on the left. And Abilene. I think it's Abilene more so than Dallas, but again, it doesn't really matter. They, they have always been so close to Juniper and we just never bottle fed them. They've always been by your side, really close to her. So as much as we need their milk, it looks like they're probably just gonna have to go. It's just, it's, it's gonna be difficult knowing this from now on. And we need all the milk we can get. We have a lot of plans for this milk. And if, you know, this is happening, you know, it's just, it's not good for us to, uh, you know, feed these goats and then all of a sudden all the, the return, the, the ROI isn't working out. We're looking forward to sugar and hoping that she produces quite well. I mean, that's basically what her, you know, her background is and her heritage. So she definitely should produce a lot. So we're hoping for that. And we're still within the 30 days of her giving birth. So in the meantime, we have to separate. And this is, you know, it's kind of a bummer. Um, the thing is, one thing is that we have to, uh, you know, let the adolescents come out here. And we're planning on letting them come out this weekend actually so you know at least we can give you know juniper a little room but you know i don't know actually having them in there with her you know since they are a herding animal it's probably good for her to not be alone the uh she abilene is just extremely close to uh, Juniper. So, probably gonna have to go. So, we're hoping, 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 hoping that we get some doughs from sugar. That would be amazing. Rosie's doing good. She's doing well. It's always something, isn't it? It's always some kind of catch here and there that just kind of makes you have to reevaluate things. And that's part of learning, you know? It's just, you're always learning. You can't say you're a professional homesteader. And you got everything down. There's just lesson after lesson. And that's good. I love I love that. I love learning. These two are really, really close as well, so who knows if what they're doing. You know, we'll see if we get in a mess. <clears throat> with them, I mean, now that June's out, who knows if they start taking the milk from each other. Their kiddings were really kind of different. So... Guess we're just gonna have to see when within the next few days that 
you know, hopefully we'll get some more milk. I mean, we were getting a lot and then all of a sudden it started going down. We're like, what's happening here? We got definitely over half a gallon. We got close to three quarters of a gallon. That was the most. And then it started going down. So usually that number is supposed to go up. Another thing that's happening, we have a broody Marans, black hopper Marans of all chickens to go broody. So that's kind of a bummer. We need those Marans eggs. We're still getting a decent amount and Miss Americana is now producing. So that's a good thing. We need to uh, up there calcium we have too many roosters in here so we're gonna take one out there's 12 hens in here so that's plenty eggs sitting right there we're already on an Easter egg hunt Thing is, um, her friend, that could be hers, um, we got both of them together, um, the uh, Americana and just uh, Black Copper Marons. We didn't know if, if the Black Copper Marons was any good, you know, as far as where it came from. We just wanted to have a friend with the Americana. Americanas, so we went ahead and just bought another, another one, and that one looks pretty small, so more than likely, let me have a look at that one. It's kind of hard to say at this point, thinking probably not. Interesting looking egg though. Gotta clean it up. A little misty this morning, but it cleared up a little bit, enough to let these guys go outside. Hopefully it'll clear up for them. They're uh, drinking four ounces right now. We have them at eight, 12, four, and eight again, as far as their feeding times. So that alone is quite a bit. And then we have the others on the, the adolescents with Juniper. They're on three times right now, 12 ounces each feeding each. 24 ounces. So, you know, we're going through a lot of milk a day. So we need every drop. It's so essential for these guys. Looks like the sun's starting to peek out, hopefully. These guys are such a blast. This is the little one that was having a little tough time in the beginning, but he's doing so well. And he's such a good boy. He really is. He's such a sweet little guy. So, we gotta get you more milk. Make sure you have enough milk, right? Right? Yeah, I think so too. So, hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to y'all soon. Stay gold. Stay gold.